Good morning. It's a sunny London morning in what, July. <laughs> no, July is, yeah, today's the first day of July. Anyway, you know these ideas you get before you've even taken a shower or, you know, gotten started with your day? Um, that's the kind of idea this is. So I'm not really, you know, um, looking my best, but I really um, wanted to talk about our ideas of a place and our ideas of the people in a place because here in London I've had such delightful interactions with people really tremendous um, from people who bus drivers to store clerks to you name it everybody has been so sweet and kind and a lot of the people who live here are like no Londoners are are very uptight and they're not friendly and um, it's so interesting how our perception of a place shapes our relationship to it and shapes what occurs for us and I'll give another example of that I was teaching I was facilitating the foundation yesterday facilitate means creating ease and there, there's a person in the class who's like, I hate India. I never like going there. The people aren't nice. You have no personal space. And um, it's like such an awful place. And one of the women in the class is like, I love India. I spend lots of time there. I enjoy it. I, I um, aim to go there for months. You know, and so the, that really shifted this man's perception of India. He's like, you like it? <laughs> it sort of rocked his world like I didn't like India and and you like it so uh what's internally going on in me that's creating my experience of of not enjoying this place whereas you enjoy it so um what goes on in our head and and like if I were to walk through London and think um oh, the people here aren't nice, and I've heard that Londoners aren't friendly and all of that, then that would actually shape what occurs for me. Whereas I'm just like, oh, I'll meet people as I show up. There's, there's no projection and expectation of how they'll meet me. And everybody, bus drivers, everybody has been super friendly and helpful, which is awesome because my SIM card did not work here. So I have to engage people and ask them for directions and find a random person and be like, hey, do you know where Charing Cross is? Charing Cross. I'm learning to speak British, which um, I'm getting to some degree. <laughs> um, so it's been really fun. So just when you don't, there's a place that you don't like. Take a look at, like, what are my ideas about this place and the people here that are shaping how this place and how the people are showing up for me? And if you, and you can um, use the interesting point of view tool. Interesting point of view, I think they're rude. Interesting point of view, I think they're cold. Interesting point of view. And, and yes, your experience might back up those beliefs and those viewpoints, um, but that might just be, would you consider for a moment that that might just be because you have this screen of ideas of how it would be and that's how it showed up for you. Yeah, Juliet says here, everyone told me London would be unfriendly and New York City would be friendly. And you had the opposite experience there. Yeah. I mean, if, if we just let everyone else's ideas of, you know, of the place and the people go and really say, okay, interesting point of view. They have that point of view. We don't have to push against it, but we don't have to make it real and true either. And then we can allow whatever shows up to show up without pushing against or without making it significant. Hawaiians are beautiful. <laughs> and when you have that point of view, they, you know, in general, that's what you're going to see. I remember Wayne Dyer used to tell a story. People would ask him, oh, how is it to live in Hawaii? And he would say, well, how is it to live at your place? And they would say, oh, you know, how are the people and stuff like that? And they would say, oh, the people are mean and, and you know, everybody's just pushing through life. And he'd say, well, that's how it is in Hawaii. 
and if they'd say, oh, the people are lovely, and I really love living here, and, and there's so much kindness, and, and it's very warm, he would say, well, that's how it is in Hawaii, because your point of view creates your reality. So if you think people are mean and awful, then what's going to show up for you? You're going to go through the world with that attitude, and that's what you're going to see. And um, yeah, so just a few thoughts for this morning. And hello, lovely. I was just talking about India a moment ago and people's perceptions of the people in India and the, how our point of view shapes our experience. So yes. Come if you'd like to experience Hawaii and the people there. Come play with me. I'm having a foundation class in September 2018 and also March 2019. So plenty of um, places and spaces to play. And Kauai in um, October. Kauai, the island of Kauai is so lush. I'm super excited to engage the energies of that island there. Parts of Maui are lush. And parts of Maui are drier, um, but Kauai is the oldest of the main islands, and therefore it's got really, um, you know, the lushness of the land has kind of um, grown over all the volcanic rock there. Maybe not all of it, but most of it, um, whereas, you know, each of the other islands, especially the newest one, right, the big island is still being formed, uh, and it doesn't have... Um, plants all over the, that new volcanic rock. It takes time for those to grow and, and poke through that tough rock. So anyway, thanks for playing me, with me this morning and whatever is showing up for you, if you don't like what it is, take a look at the points of view that are creating that and, and um, having that show up for you. All right, lovelies, have a marvelous day day. I'm here from London and I'll be in Chicago and Wisconsin um, starting next week. So, all right. Aloha, everybody.